The anti-snake venom will help in the neutralization of the effects of venoms from over 19 different species of snakes. The serum will also be effective in cases where the venom of the species of snake that has attacked an individual cannot be readily ascertained. CEO of the Food and Drugs Authority, Delise Mimi Dako, noted that her outfit has approved the production of the anti-snake venom. This MOU will mark the beginning of several such agreements between local manufacturers and giants in the biopharma industry to help support our manufacturers towards a self-sustainable air supply in Ghana and also to export to many countries. Because our lab is pre-qualified, everything that we test in our laboratory is accepted worldwide. Presidential Advisor on Health at the Office of the President of Ghana, Dr. Anthony Insian Sari, said when ready, the SERA will be distributed nationwide by AI technology. It will now be distributed through uh, artificial intelligence in the medical system. So we are not keeping them in some people, we are keeping them in the numerous places where we can deliver the anti-snake cells if they have made that. So this is saving us a saving data of scarce foreign exchange. The World Health Organization in 2017 described snake bite it's as a neglected public health issue in many tropical and subtropical countries and listed it among priority neglected tropical diseases. In Ghana, an average of 9,600 snake bites were recorded each year from 2015 to 2019. A community-based study found a high snake bite prevalence of 6% and a case fatality ratio of 3%.